P. Dude, here's the issue. I have a two-year-old screaming in the next room. I'm in a garage in Florida, and it is so hot and humid in here because I have to turn off the air conditioner so that I could record this. That's This is a life, bro. Welcome Retro Chasers, Game Boy Zero here. I want to take the time to thank you for watching my show, checking out my episodes. You don't have to, but you do, and I appreciate it. If you haven't already, I want you to go and take a look at my old videos, and if you're not a subscriber and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends. So today's idea for the episode comes from my new friend, Odd Pod. Uh, he is dope. I checked out his channel today for the first time, and I said, uh, actually, no, that's a lie. I was actually a subscriber before then, uh, but I saw one of his episodes today, and his episode was about Goosebump books, and we're talking about the original 62, not the later ones, not the, uh, the, I mean, they have some really cool ones that came out, but I'm talking about the original 62 from when I was in middle school into high school, and he's basically chasing down all those books. Um, and I have some books too, and I said, wouldn't it be cool if I did the same thing? So I'm going to tag on to his idea of chasing down all the old Goosebumps books. If you haven't checked out his channel or his Instagram, I'll link him down below uh, so you can check him out too. So I'm talking about these Goosebumps books. Actually, this is dope. All right, boom. This right here, this, when I look at these books, it just makes me feel so good. I mean, uh, Monster Blood, uh, Night of the Living Dummy, th those books, uh, for some reason, it was all about the art on the cover for me. Now, one thing that I learned today uh, was there's actually different variants of covers. So, the apparently the US um, covers look more like this, and I found out that there is actually a UK variant as well. So uh, those look a little different. I want to say that these are the UK version of, uh, and I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, please correct me, but I am going to do some research and I'll actually pop it up right, probably right here. Um, so the books that I have, I found these at the Goodwill, and if you're looking for them too, Goodwill is the best place to find them. I found some on eBay, and people are actually selling the entire line of books for close to $180, $200. That's absolutely ridiculous. And Barnes and Noble actually does have an entire package for 20 bucks, the 25th anniversary uh, books. Uh, but I don't want those. I don't want any of the new stuff. Just like uh, Odd Pod said, he wants the original ones. And I'm going to tag along with his idea as well, where if uh, it doesn't matter what condition they're in, and once I complete the collection, if I find some that are kind of dingy and kind of uh, ugly looking, I'll, I'll go and I'll find a nicer copy of them. Uh, so I'll share with what I have right now. This is one that I found that's not a part of the original, but this is a Choose Your Own, Own Adventure book. I love the Choose Your Own Adventure style uh, of the Goosebumps, but this is not a part of the original, uh, but still cool in its own right. Uh, I encourage you to check these out. Now, the ones that I have out of these 62 are as follows. Monster Blood, How to Kill a Monster, and The Curse of Camp Cold. So Oddpod and I are starting a hashtag called Goosebumps Challenge. If you're on a hunt for new Goosebumps books, or rather old ones, use this hashtag and join us on the hunt for old school Goosebumps books. Again, I want to thank you for joining me today. You don't have to, but you do, and I appreciate you all. Until next week, this is Game Boy Zero. Peace.